And so this is the old modem here. And um, so we're gonna change that out. I just got this new one from AT&T. So basically it's, um, they call it ready, set, swap. And I've got this so I can send it back. So I gotta keep this box. Is it gonna want that old modem back? And um, this is uh, all the stuff that came with it. And here's the modem itself. So we're going to switch this one out and hopefully it's going to be better than this one here. But this one here is running pretty good right now. I don't even know if I need to swap it. So this new modem, it's got the phone line, it's got the broadband, it's got the ethernet, it's got USB, and it's got DSL broadband. And then down there it's got cable. It's got the password up top there. If you look at the front of it, it's got all looks almost the same as the other one. I mean, does it look different? I don't know. Let's put them right next to each other and take a look. I mean, did they just send me the exact same freaking thing? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Just looks like it's the exact same thing. But the back, it looks different. Let's take a look at this one. Basically, It's the exact same thing. I mean, they sent me the same freaking modem. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So when I switch these out, what's gonna happen is I've gotta change all the passwords on everything. And they want you to use this one here because this is the new one that they sent me, and not the old one. And so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot here and see how it works. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer those two cables over. This one here, we're not going to plug that one in. What we're going to do is we're going to get the new one that they gave us and plug it in. And that's the one that we're going to hook up. And then, of course, we got to change all the, pa uh, the Wi-Fi passwords on every freaking device that we got in the house. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so first thing first, we're going to take this out of here, pop it out. Just going to move it over, put it in the same one. I'm going to take this one out of here, pop her out, and move it over, pop it right in there. Bam. Now, this one here, we're just going to undo. We're going to pull it out. This one's done. That one is no longer going to be working. So now we're going to go in here and we're going to get this cord out of here. So I got a jumbled mess in here. <laughs> and then we're going to pull this out of here. <clears throat> right, so that's the old one. Now that one's gone. Okay, all that stuff we got to send back. Now we got to hook in the new one here. So. This has got the plug that goes into that. And on this side, I've got a hook in this plug. There it is. So it looks pretty simple. You just push it in. Look, see? And that's that. I don't know if it does, does it really matter? Apparently it doesn't really, it goes, it doesn't matter how you get it in there. You just stick it in. Bam, that's done. Right now, I've got to plug this into the electrical in the back. And so as you can see, I've got a uh, one of these things. And I just got a sticker in there. So there we go. And now this is wired, ready to go. So now I'm just gonna put it back here on top of this old uh, hard drive. And then this part here is gonna be plugged into here. That's our next move. So I guess we got to peel this off, this um, green stuff here, and that reveals our power cable. And again, just in case you didn't see it before, it says during power up 15 minutes, do not unplug the power cord or green <laughs> data cable. This can permanently screw up your gateway. So hopefully uh, we don't do that. <laughs> so anyway, put that one over there. 
Right now, what we've got to do is plug in our power cord. So here's your power cord, right? And it goes right into that little hole right there. Once you do that, we turn it around and get her going, and then we'll, re we'll move some of this stuff around a little bit so it's not so bad. But we've got our DSL broadband pushed in there. We got our ethernet pump pumped in there and that's going right over here to the computer. So I've got this computer hardwired, but the other ones are gonna do, are gonna use Wi-Fi. You don't need to hardwire it, but I'm gonna do it so it's a little bit faster. All right, and so now all we gotta do is plug this in. And once this is plugged in, all right, so now I'm gonna come in here, plug it in, and when I turn this around, you're gonna see You're gonna see a light come on here. All right, it's gonna take about 15 minutes for this to power up. And when it does, all these things should kick in. And then we gotta come back on our computer and change all, all of our passwords. And that's it. You can see it's starting to kick in. And then I gotta put all this stuff here in this box and drop it off at UPS. So we're gonna do that too. So I shoved it all in there and I just gotta close it and uh, and then, send, and then take it to UPS and send it back. Otherwise, it'll charge me. Okay, so we've got uh, a red warning on broadband, which is not good. Not quite sure. Oh, there we go. Now it went green. So hopefully that's working. All right, looks like we're good. I'm locked in. I just opened up Google Works. So we're cool here. Now I just got to change my passwords on everything. <laughs> Live video. So I'm just going to click on Surfline here. See how she works. And um, as you can see, let's give it a click. Oh, play. There we go. So now I've got it. I've got it pretty much green lights. We've got a couple flickering ones there. But this is a live video stream from the uh, beach. And as you can see, it looks like it's working pretty good. All right, so now i got to change all the devices uh, <laughs> so that they all work with this and articulate with it. All right, cool. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff. That's how you change your modem. Very simple.